footy show. Extraordinary fallout after the Dreamtime game at the G on Saturday night. Richmond and Essendon. Only one man more disappointed than Matthew Richardson with the result. And that is Jim here, who later on in the show, ladies and gentlemen, will be out in the mankini after making a big name himself. I like it. I like it a lot. Gary, what? I've thought long and hard about it today. Yes, you are, Jim. And you I'm not are. doing it. No, you... No. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, Gary. And you'll be coming out in the mankini. There is nothing surer than that. Please, Gary. I'll tell you what is going to be coming out. OK. I'll tell you what is going to be coming out. I'm not doing it, Gary. I'll tell you what is going to be coming out. And that is one of the hottest recording artists in the world, let alone Australia, ladies and gentlemen, Jet. Oh. Boy, on the show tonight. Not been able to sleep. No. I love my music you and I love cannot it. wait for that. The hands in the back wheel has been the talk this week. We sent Sam out, Street Talk, just mm. to get a bit of public opinion about whether it should be in or out. Looking forward to hearing all about that. And one of the big stars of the Nine Network, his show The Nation debuts next week, ladies and gentlemen. Mick Malloy is going to be yes. on the show well, a bit later on. Plenty to get through, plenty to get through. We've got a former member of the Rules Committee on the panel as well. We'll, get, we'll take him to task about that rule, but before we get into that, ladies and gentlemen, this man, none bigger in football. He doesn't go anymore. He remains the number one man in football. Please yeah. welcome Sam Newman. Yeah. Well, now there's the first piece of relief I've had tonight, if you'll pardon the expression. Uh, you said Jet was on. Yes. I thought Eddie had got Nathan Buckley's son to come on and do an act. <laughs> but it's the band, is the it? Band. Yes. Well, there's a relief. Yep. And Jim, I know you spoke jocularly yes. to Gary about the thong. Not and you doing were... it, Sam. Yes. Uh, could, I, could I just assure you of something, Jim? What? Whether it be by, whether it be voluntarily or forcibly, you will be in the thong <laughs> later on. Yes. yes. This. This. This I pledge. Jim will be in the thong. This is it here, in fact. This will be oh, no! And um, uh, Jim's body taking on the uh, sort of looks of a blancmange at the minute. So uh, maybe you can get the cookbook out and see if you can recognise anything in it. No, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Not doing it. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Talk about stars of the network. This man is one of the brightest. Trevor Marmalade behind the bar. <laughs> Well, Jim, uh, you're going to be under a lot of pressure here, mate, aren't you? Not doing a trip. Well, no, mate, uh, maybe you could pick another scene from Borat. Uh, maybe you and Billy could wrestle naked for him. <laughs> <laughs> How would that go there, mate? Uh, but, of course, uh, uh, news highlight of the week, of course, uh, how's the USA travelling on the world stage at the moment? Uh, this is probably indicative. You probably saw this uh, during the week. Uh, Miss USA at the uh, at the universe pageant there. And oh, and oh, down she goes, oh. the poor darling, don't you? Your heart just got to go out to it. They're riding high and, and then over she goes. I mean, they're actually not sure how it happened, but uh, organisers did shortly before that see Miss Iraq holding a banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope uh, that, all, that is all it was. Now, listen, we uh, we do joke about it, but, Jim, I just want to remind everyone, if you weren't watching last week, what this is all about, Ooh. the Mancini situation, oh, because yeah. you went out on the limb. There's a good reason you don't give footy tips. That's because you know very little about football. But last week, you got brave, and you had this to say to Richard Tambling, who was sitting in the audience. I guarantee your club will win this week. Thanks, mate. That'd be good. Guarantee. Gary? What will you do if they don't, Jim? Yeah. Would you wear a string? Would you wear a thong out like you should have at the car wash? <laughs> you slip the Borat outfit on if they don't no. <laughs> That might be the way to go. All right. All right. No, I will do that. Yeah. I will do that. Gary. Gary. <laughs> a man's allowed to have a rethink, Gary, Jim. and I've thought about my no. future and I'm my family and my friends. You will do of it. Of which otherwise. I thought you were one in the other. You will do it or 
your Sam and I will pull yeah, out. No, I've already, I've already guaranteed the viewers. Yeah. No, is there it. anyone watching our show? Yes, there are. Yeah, I've here. already guaranteed the viewers that Jim will be doing it. Does Mrs B know you're going to do this? I had a no. message from Mrs B no, saying, no. don't let him do it. I said, you've got to be joking. <laughs> <laughs> When was the last time she saw you in the all together? Do you, what, or what, do you do it in between a sheet now? What, uh, <laughs> what Mrs B did say is if you're going to do it, don't wear the one Gary wore last week. No, this is it. Because no, of the Yogi Bears yeah, hanging off. This I is it. We've had it dry. <laughs> No. We've had it dry clean and I wouldn't that, that is a that's a new one. I wouldn't go near that other. Trev uh, he's gonna everyone was talking about it. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> But uh, actually Jim uh, I mean you back Richmond you're pretty stiff for no let me rephrase that, you're unlucky. <laughs> and uh, it was only for one controversial incident at the oh. end of the game. Uh, let's uh, recount oh. what happened at the end of last week's game. Richardson is the one. Talking about it, Jim. They're all, all right. talking about it. Not doing it. All right. Well, I see what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this panel out. He made the statement last week that if Richmond did not win, he would come out in the Mankini. It has taken a fair bit of work on our behalf to get him there. He's not the fittest man in the world, by the way. And he's come on, Jimmy. Uh, a little bit pale, but uh, please be a little bit forgiving. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, James Bateshaw. Could you come over? Come over here, what Jimmy. What is it, Sammy? I want to speak to you. I don't really want to turn around, Sam. <laughs> well, well, we're off here now. We've gone to a break. Come over here. All right. What is yeah. it? Yeah. Why are you for it? Could you pick that up for us? <laughs> I've dropped a chisel. Could you pick? <laughs> well done, Jim. All right. Yeah. Garrett. Very nice That's to see you, Jim. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> I tell you what, now, put, put your <laughs> sex with you. Now that I've sat down, Gary, <laughs> Jim, no, no, Gary, it's a sideward movement. Gary, Jim, Gary, we can't. Steve. Now, now that I've sat down, I can sort myself out now. <laughs> Work sorted out. <laughs> Trev, please, save us. Oh, good on you, Trev. <laughs> <laughs> just get my self sorted out down here, Trev. Just a <laughs> sec. <laughs> no, don't worry, mate. Uh, fantastic. You will never have to queue up at the Peel Hotel ever. <laughs> Very well done, mate. Uh, and even with five socks, it looked like you had ten seats worth of mixed lollies down there. <laughs> Didn't Jim get a crowbar and prize his ass off the chair. <laughs> Gary, get to a break or something. No, I'm not, I'm not going to break because when uh, we saw you last week doing the car wash, you were a very pale outfit. You were just yeah. white and very oh. sickly looking. What's but all now this you're crap. Now out. you're glowing. All of <laughs> Why are you glowing all of a sudden? Oh, I've just got a decent rig. I told you I'd get my rig sorted out. <laughs> I'm tipping you've had a little bit of work done oh. in the last day or two. In fact, we had cameras down yeah. tripling. You've gone to spray tan, Jim. What's that all about? Look at the pirate's treasure. <laughs> Look at the beautiful Tanya from Brazilian Butterfly doing the you job on me there. Brazilian while you're there. No, no I no. Just, You can see the package <laughs> there, Gary. Yeah, the oh, package, yeah. <laughs> well, Jim, I, right. I, 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 I've got to hand it to you, mate. I didn't think you'd come out like that, and uh, right. I wish you hadn't, to be honest, but ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> He wanted to make... Well, Gary, what? This is what you left in the men's game. <laughs> <thing, Mark. laughs> well, we've got a couple more games coming up, so if you've got any more statements you uh, want to make, you can none, do that. We're never take, again. We'll take a break, have a look at the remaining games after this on the footy show.